Hello, this is Cassandra of South Fulton Gardens. I would like for you to see how I started my sweet potatoes last year. I have here some of the sweet potatoes that's left from my harvest. I had a um, pretty prolific harvest last year. And you can also go back and look at my harvest video that I've taken uh, last summer. With these, I will plant them in my soil that I already have prepared to plant my sweet potatoes in. And I have um, wet the soil, not too wet. You don't want water. You want it to be able to crumble. When you boil it, it will clump, but fall apart readily. And I will place my sweet potatoes, such as this one. This is a pretty big one, isn't it? It's a pretty big sweet potato. And I will place it it here make a little indentation and try to bury as much of it as i can in the soil and what i want is for the slips to actually start rooting directly into the soil that way I don't have to grow the, the slips in water, then cut them off and put them back into water to get roots. This method would allow me to develop roots in the soil. And when it's time to plant, I cut them off and plant them, roots and all. Here's my orange ones. Last year, I noticed that I planted the orange and they didn't do as well as the purple sweet potatoes here. Um, what I did, I planted the whole thing like this into the garden bed and I only got just maybe five or six orange sweet potatoes. And the purple I allowed to grow into slips and cut the slips off and planted the slips and I had many more purple sweet potatoes than orange so that was an experiment last year so I'll try this year and see how we do if my orange would do as well as my purple this year hopefully I will get a lot more sweet potatoes than I did last year even though I did have a lot we had plenty for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year, and in between. And you see, we still have quite a bit left. So this is what I do. I put them in soil and allow the sprouts to grow and root. This is how we do it. Just place them firmly. Oh, that broke. But that's okay. It still will grow. You really don't need as many sweet potatoes um, as these that I'm planting. But um, we're kind of tired of eating them right now. And I may as well use them and grow as many as I want and possibly give away a lot next year. And the funny thing is, I don't even like sweet potatoes. I don't like them, but my family does. So I grow them for my family. You have to sacrifice for them sometimes. My kids, my grandkids, they love sweet potatoes. And my son did trick me into eating one of the purple sweet potatoes. And um, he baked it. I don't know what he did, how he baked it, but it was really good. And before he had known 
Well, he gave me half of a sweet potato. And before I knew it, I had eaten that and was ready for the other half. And I don't like sweet potato. But the purple, I think, tastes better than the orange and are less stringy. So we'll see how this goes. And I think this is it. So we will see how all of these will sprout. And if the roots will actually start growing down, because they would grow here and reach for the soil, they would detect the moist soil, and they will actually start growing in the soil. And that's how I get my sweet potatoes growing. Just put them firmly in the soil. Some people do cut them in half and let them scab over, but I don't find that really necessary. I just plop them in the soil and let them grow. Okay, thank you. So let's see how these grow. I'll see you the next time.